All right, this one's gonna be on Thatch, and basically the name comes from Photos and Batch, uh, and they mix it together, and that's how you got that shit, Thatch. Okay. But basically, uh, it deals with images only. Uh, whether you want to convert uh, one image to another, like one format to another, uh, PNG to JPEG, JPEG to GIF, whatever the hell it is you want, you can do that. Uh, and it has some other options in there too. So we're gonna go take a look at it. Now this is the program. Now other programs they have. Like I was using GIMP before, but that was just I uh, didn't like that one that much. But here it's a little different. You add in an action, which uh, is kind of like an effect that you can do. Okay. So they have brown here where you want brown corners. You don't like a picture frame to have brown corners. And save is always the must because uh, what kind of output you want it to be. Uh, you can do like a rename type of thing too. And here the scaling is kind of like uh, whether you want the, the image to be bigger or smaller. Your resolution, you know. And shadows, of course. Uh, you don't need to talk about that. Text, uh, pretty much like um, you want to type in whatever you want in there. Usually people put it in their um, you know website URL or something like that. And this one is like um, you know rotation, flipping the image. Um, that's pretty much it itself. Explanatory. Uh, watermarks, you know, kind of like uh, you have the photos, and you want to um, show off your company logo on the side or something like that. You can do that too. So we're gonna do uh, some here. Let's say we want brown corners. Okay. So we add that sucker in. And this instance, we're gonna do a, a big radius so we can see the difference. And we're just gonna leave the other ones alone. Now you can add another one. Well, let's say we do uh, text, okay, like a blog uh, URL or something. Now here you can change uh, the text to whatever you want. Let's say put my blog in there. And let's say you want the fonts. I don't know. And the colors. Uh, let's say make this red so you can see the difference. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Let's say we uh, end this by saving it now. So add in the save option. And uh, my images right now is a JPEG. Let's say I want to convert that to uh, a GIF. Now, if you don't want to convert it, don't do nothing. But let's say I want to convert it to uh, GIF files. Now, you can do file names and all that, but I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. And then after you do all your, uh, you know, your actions, uh, you can complete it by uh, executing the action here with this icon. And just browse to the folder that you want. Uh, since I already load up the folder, uh, it's already done, okay. All I got to do now is click on batch and it should do its job. I see this is the original folder and the new folder is going to be here so your original folders uh, and all the images in there it's not going to be affected uh, by the changes okay so that's it we're done and let me show you the original it has nothing okay let's see see it has nothing on this image say original nothing okay so let's head to uh, the ones that we just uh, batched in. Let me see what the hell. Reload the sucker. Uh, so this one is the new one, and you can see if you click on this sucker, uh, you can see that it has the round corners. Okay, you know the, on the picture frame kind of thing. Uh, it has the 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 text that you wanted to put. So that's cool, you know. And it applies it to all the images. And let me see. And like I said before, the original is JPEG, all right? This is the original JPEG. But uh and the new one here with the round corners is GIF. See GIF files. Uh so that is it for this program. Uh I like this one better than the shit I was using with the GIMP and <laughs> shit like that. Um, so yeah, if you need something like this to uh, 
manage your photos uh, whether it be uh, flipping the photos or uh, converting usually it's for converting to one format to another but uh, they also use this for blogging where you want your you know your company or your site URL also so that's that okay it's a cool program